Okay, so I came up with an idea that I want to do for this. I'm going to see if it works. If it doesn't, I could just kind of paint over a little bit. But as everybody knows, this is going to my daughter. So I'm going to put a little bit of this varnish on it. I'm going to do the whole thing in varnish, and then I'm going to blow from my hand some of this glitter. So it makes it look like the clouds are kind of glittery because in the end, I am going to resin this because every painting I do for her, she really likes the resin look. So I'm going to do that now and see how it comes out. Let me find a good brush. I like to use generally a flat brush because it just gives it better look. Where's my flat brush? Oh, that's right here in front of my face. Okay. I usually like to use a flat brush. Wish I had a wider one, but I don't. Anyway, I'm going to start by putting some of this on. So yesterday, um, I went to um, my doctor and uh, he had me go take a CT at, and a x-ray with dye studies. I had fell on my shoulder like four winters ago. I went skiing and hit a pretty bad ice patch. I have an internal TENS unit in my left side. And I knew that I was going down. So what I did is I tucked my arm in like this and fell straight on my shoulder. I went to the doctor, I think it was like a month later, they tried to do physical therapy, nothing helped. And so I just didn't do anything about it. I moved uh, back here about a year and a half ago, and I saw another doctor here. He did an x-ray and found out that I had a bone spur, so he was going to send me to an orthopedic surgeon and get that taken care of because he was afraid that if I didn't get it taken care of, I was going to end up getting a tear in my rotator cuff. So he got me all set up with an appointment with an orthopedic surgeon, and my insurance had changed because I'm was going through a divorce so I wasn't able to see that surgeon and then I ended up getting um, another insurance company and that's who I'm with now and he sent me to go get the x-rays yesterday so the doctor that did the dye study part of it she moved my uh, hand around to reposition my shoulder as the die was going in and she said sure enough I have a rotator tear so she's sending it over to the orthopedic surgeon and I will talk to him on the phone on I think Tuesday and we'll make a plan of what he's going to do from there but the thing about the story is that when I went in to get the dye study one, they had me wear a pair of scrubs, the scrub bottoms and the scrub top. So I put all my clothes in a bag. <clears throat> and the glasses that I normally wear that you guys see are my Tiffany glasses that I had bought. So I put everything in the bag, did all the x-rays and everything, came out of the x-ray place, put all my clothes back on, Totally forgot to put my glasses on and threw the bag in the little biohazard uh, trash bin that they have. I didn't realize it till I got to the gas station that I was not wearing my glasses. So I came home, I called them, told them what happened, told them, you know, what room I was in, what, you know, bin I threw the bag in. And they haven't called me back, so I'm assuming that 
they didn't go in there and retrieve my glasses. So that's a bummer. That's my bummer story for yesterday. I really loved those glasses and I don't think I can get another pair like that, but we'll see. I did go to the eye doctor, so I'm probably just gonna get another pair of glasses because the ones that I'm wearing now were damaged. I got them repaired and they still don't fit the same and they hurt and I really don't like them. So I want, I loved the Tiffany ones because they were kind of more of the plastic and these have the, like the wire, their coach. I mean, they're really nice. I paid like I think $800 for these, but it's wire and I don't like the way that this fits across the bridge of my nose. It leaves kind of that indent and I hate that. <clears throat> so we'll see. Anyway, that was my sad story for yesterday. Okay, so I put this stuff on and I kind of just want to target right in here. So let's see how this works. Like I said, if it does it, I can always go over it. part so I think what I'll do is just I just kind of want to give it I was thinking yesterday if I did this I can give it like a little bit more glitter so that way when I put the resin on the glitter will really show through So this will be actually the last thing I do before I resin it and because the weather looks like it's going to be nice today, I think I will resin it today and I'll take a video of that. So I think I'll just add it onto the back end of this video instead of doing two separate ones because this isn't going to take me that long to do this. because I really don't want to get the face. I got some on the face, but it's not that big of a deal. There's not a whole lot of it. I just kind of want to focus on glitter and the smoke. a little more. I love doing these paintings for my daughter. She comes up with the really cool pictures.
thought maybe if I put this um, sealant down first, it'll be easier to make the glitter adhere to it. And then when I put the resin over it, we'll see how it turns out. I don't know if you guys can see this. Yeah, so yeah, you can see some of the glitter like right in here. See if I can move it around a little. You see, like right in here. So the whole smoke part, I got glitter on it. We'll see how it comes up when um, I actually resin it. Okay, so there's that, and I will wait for all of this to dry, and then I'll resin it. And we'll see how it goes. Thanks, guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pour the resin so I can put it on the canvas. So there is a part A and part B. I'm going to pour the part A in here. And then what I like to do is put a piece of saran wrap on it. That way it doesn't stick and it won't be hard to get the lid back off. So the next thing I have to do is, let me see, I need a little piece of tape. I know I'm sure there's other ways that you're actually supposed to measure this and mix it, but I'm just going to stick a little piece of tape right there so I know how much of the second part goes in. Oops. Ah. So I pour this in here. sticks I get from the dollar store. Get all of that in there. Okay, so now I'm going to pour the second part. Okay, I'll set that up in there so it doesn't drip on the table.
I was thinking too that I saw like a lot of videos on how to make your own like silicone molds. So I was thinking about like maybe getting into doing like other little things like necklaces and stuff. But you know, I've got so many painting projects. I have the succulent one, the lantern one, which I did a little bit of work on it this morning. It's just hard to film that one right now because it's still like a lot of little detail work and it honestly takes me a long time and I hate making all of these videos where I'm really not talking, but it's it's just really hard for me to talk and paint at the same time. Then I have uh, my sister's Indian painting that I'm still working on, but I will try to at least give you guys, even if it's only like a little two minute update of each one so you can see what I've done so far. I'll let this set for a second and I'll show you the succulent one. I just added that little green one right there. Let's see if I can get this lamp out of my way. Sorry. That little green one right there. Oh, and I added this one too, but I haven't done any of the shading on it, so I'm working on that. And then with the lantern one, I've just outlined like the lantern so far, and I did another coat on the base, and I outlined like the outside of everything so I can do some more detail work in it. It doesn't look that great right now, but it's going to get better. So anyway, back to this. I'm just finally done, I'm glad that I got done with this one for my daughter because spring break's coming up soon and she was gonna come up to, I guess it would be down, she's coming down to visit me. So I wanna be able to give it to her. So, I'm going to pause this, take it over to the box, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is. You can see the reflection. Just poured it. This is my little box that I use. See, I got a little bit out where I didn't want it, but so you can see the reflection of the resin. I'm gonna get this. There it goes. So now this has to sit for, I usually let it sit for two days because even though the weather is nice and the sun is shining it's still a little cold in here but there it is all resined ready to go as soon as it's dry hope you guys enjoyed this it was a lot of fun making it and most of all i hope my daughter really likes it thanks for watching